Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of NG with Astro Bill and Doey. Yeah! And what were we just up to? We just defeated the big bad boss, hopefully. There's probably hopefully. another one. <laughs> I know, are we gonna run non-stop into another one? Who knows? And plus, that was an amalgamation of the big bad plus some innocent people, and it was really sad, so hopefully they're okay. Alright, go for it, oi! Uh, we're not gonna go someplace weird again, are we? It'll be fine, probably. If the demon Tsukuyomi was the one causing time to reverse, then we shouldn't be led to the scene of the fire again. So we aren't gonna hear that horrific scream this time? I press the button for the first floor and the elevator quietly starts moving. No scream. Yay, I hate that noise. It's so loud and high pitched. Whose voice was it anyways? Are we assuming it's Masaru's voice? This is a terrible one. Yeah, I don't know. Right? The elevator reaches the first floor without any issues. Oh, good. We made it back okay. Come on. We don't have time to be standing around. Let's get going. Where? Where, where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, it makes it clear that she wants to be out of this place. So we leave. Fair? First we leave, then we figure out what to do. Whew. We should be safe here. Good job, you two. Thank you, you didn't do anything in the finale. <laughs> that was a piece of cake. Dancing up on stage is a hundred times more tiring. So cool you are. Huh, what's that face for? Something's bugging me. What exactly was that demon Tsukuyomi we saw? I mean, it was obviously a fusion of the people who died in the fire, right? No, I, I get that, but... But the demon Tsukuyomi ritual itself existed way before the fire, right? Good point. It doesn't have ties to this event. Oh, that's what you're talking about. You're wondering if that was the real demon Tsukuyomi or not. Pretty much. We were originally trying to summon the demon Tsukuyomi, and then that thing appeared. Let's uh, put together what we know first. The arsonist, Masaru Ishimaru, tried to summon the demon Tsukuyomi by sacrificing people. His wish was to bring his bring back his dead mother. She's also the late wife of President Ishimaru of the Sumi group. She's still quite dead. I confirmed that when I was investigating the Sumi group. In other words, his wish to the demon Tsukuyomi wasn't granted. That's what that'd mean, yeah? Hmm. This is just a what if, but maybe a wish was granted, but it wasn't Ishimaru's wish. What? Who would want to turn into a big ball of flesh? <laughs> so whose was it? The victims killed by Ishimaru. If 24 people all wished for something, it would definitely overpower Ishimaru's voice. And in that situation, they would obviously all be wishing for the same thing. That's a oh, crazy really? backfire. Because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do this thing and my wish is going to be so cool and they're definitely going to grant it because I'm going to sacrifice so many people. Like, all these people are being sacrificed. That's a lot of stuff, right? That's a lot of meaning and power. And then it's like, oh wait, the people who I'm sacrificing can also all wish at the same time while they're being sacrificed. That's cool. Like, <laughs> yeah. like what the heck? I don't want to die, huh? Yeah, I think so too. So the real demon Tsukuyomi granted that wish and created the demon Tsukuyomi we saw, I guess. So that rumor about the demon Tsukuyomi granting wishes was true? Mm, I don't know if we can say that for sure. That thing could also just be some massive hate not connected to the real demon Tsukuyomi. If that's the case, it'd mean that nobody's wish was granted in that fire. And that would mean the rumors about the demon Tsukuyomi were false. It's that small line between fact and fiction that really fires up an occult fan, you know? Of course, I'd be the happiest if the rumors about the demon Tsukuyomi turned out to be true. I mean, that'd be so much cooler. In the end, people are going to believe what they want to believe. There's no such thing as a correct answer. Really? We're gonna go with that route, huh? Well, it's about time we split up. It's ain't a good time for miners to be walking around. 
Yeah, I guess I'll head home. Thanks for everything, Oi. <laughs> that's, that's surprisingly decent coming from you. <laughs> you falling for me? Um, I, do we want a joke? Do we want to, I don't know what, Oi's pretty cool. I like her, but I, I don't really know what the Responses. response we should be given here is, yeah. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> Right in the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, not even a twitch of the eyebrow, huh? You got an impressive poker face. Thank you. By the way, Crimson, how did Ami's examination go? Oh yeah, I never told you. They found some abnormalities in her brain waves, so she's under examination until tomorrow. That's so. I hope Natsumi gets better soon so they can go back to their normal lives. Yeah, me too. If Aunt Nasumi's coma is because of Kakuya's curse, then Ami's not getting her normal life back until I do something about Kakuya. Alright, I'm headed out. See you guys. See ya! Oi disappears in the direction of Shinza Station. Alright, take her back over! Alright, I'm gonna get back too. My coworker's apartment I'm going to stay at is pretty close to Shinza Station. Why don't you walk together? Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, true. So you're still- Oh, okay, there's actual reason. So you're still not going home, huh? Oh wait, JK, no, she's she's not going home because she's going to the coworker's apartment. My bad. You're right. Your, your point still stands. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> your curse always appears suddenly, just like it did today. It'd be bad if I decided to go home and ended up getting locked up under surveillance again. Azuki's grinning, but I've been constantly causing her trouble for the past few weeks. Huh? What's going on? You're staring. Though, I'm used to that in my profession. <laughs> At first, I didn't want to get her involved, but if she hadn't been there to help me, I never would have survived this long. <sighs> I've been a big pain to you. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. I've told you many times, but I'm really into ghosts and the occult and stuff. I'll do anything to get experiences experiences like these. I'd even quit being an idol. That's that's a pretty bold declaration. That's a pretty intense love for that stuff. If your agency heard that, they'd faint. Hey, can I ask you something? Go right ahead. You'll have to get through the agency <laughs> if it's about my measurements and weight, though. Oh my god. Why'd you become an idol? You don't seem that obsessed with the job. Yeah, it may look that way. I didn't become one because it was my dream or aspiration or anything, like other people. Huh! It's because of the education I got from my mom, who used to be an idol. Wow. She trained me for- she trained me for this life <laughs> ever since I was really young. Oh my gosh! So you're not doing it because you like it? No, no. It's not like that. I love singing and talking and stuff, It's and it's so great to have fans. But the word idol doesn't really have a special meaning to me, like it does for other people. For me, it's more like I took over the family business. Wow, what, what an interesting way to look at it! You live in one strange household. It's pretty normal to me, though. Anyway, since it's basically the family business, I try to be more professional than others. Like how? Uh, like going to haunted areas to increase my status as an occult idol? That's just your hobby. <laughs> You've got me there. Alright, I'm gonna get going. See you later, Crimson. See ya! Thanks for the help! Hazuki darts off in the direction of the, da of the taxi stand. Now that I think of it, a lot of people have helped me get this far. <laughs> I'm surprised I... you don't get like a, a montage right now. What do you mean? Like, oh, like like seeing their fa faces float across the sky <laughs> in a little <laughs> montage, you're right. I gaze up at the night sky. Oh, here we go, literally, like he's describing the montage. I gaze up at the night sky for a while, picturing all the people who've helped me and their faces show up in the night sky, right on the left side, right there, that big open space. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, because of your- oh, whoa, because of your close relationship with Natsumi- Oh, maybe- maybe our decisions across the board ha have affected it now? Oh, we didn't get too close to- oh, or- or ourselves, we didn't get close what? enough to our own heart! Oh, 
<laughs> Guess I'll get going myself. Interesting. Very interesting. I go to this. I go the station and quickly hop on the last train heading to Kisolji. After arriving at Kisolji Station, which is deserted at this hour, I head to my apartment. We skipped the first one, but I am assuming it said uh, Hazuki, because that would make the most sense. Let's see. How do we check for that? Oopsie. Uh, but sure, why not? Let's uh, let's save this. Here we go. Okay. Uh, ba 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 bag and people people. Um, so I'm assuming hers updated. Oh, wow, she giggles. Oh, she says her whole thing. Um, it doesn't look any different or anything. I don't know who's up there. It's fine. Unless, let's take a look at ourselves. Uh, oh, wrong button. Oh, wow. Here's a voice line. Majikayo. <laughs> Wait, is it just going to keep playing voice lines? Majikayo. <laughs> Majikayo. Yoroshikutanom. <laughs> okay, anyways, anyways, all right, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, all right. Let's see what else we're supposed to be sticking around for. D-Man, it sounds like it's over. Because it was like, congrats on definitely beating Kakuya. You totally did it. Unless we're getting one now. What's up? A text. D-Man! Oh, I opened up the message. A demon. Okay, cool. <laughs> Go for ten. It. How are you? It's Demon. This will be my final message. I oh. admire your dedication for finding my analysis reports. I'd like to personally thank you, my true comrade. If you don't mind, come to the graveyard's entrance. Are we going meet? We have a graveyard. Are we going meet? Oh my god! Yeah, the graveyard, the the one with the um the vending machine right in front of it. I'm finally gonna get to see his face. Whoa! This is kind of exciting. A graveyard. Probably the one not far from here. Choosing not to go home, I instead head to the place this really creepy person with magical abilities and has been stalking me mentioned. Yeah. I'm gonna walk directly towards him with no sense of danger. Hey, this is what's the spot D-Man said to be. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? It's like we're long lost friends. Yo, those scavenger hunts been so fun. Like whenever <laughs> I'm trying to so being killed great. by a spirit, it's been rogue awesome. Thank you. <sighs> Doesn't look like he's here yet. Calls me out, but doesn't bother to be here, huh? I almost wonder if he's not going to be here and we're just going to find another card. I'm under no obligation to wait. Going home is starting to sound like a good idea. Just then. A sprite? A sprite for D-Man? Uh, Whoa! Oh yes? Mm. Yeah? Ew! Ew! In my ear? Like, in, in my, my ear? ear? In my ear? A man's voice whispers in my ear and it was creepy. It was like breathy and weird and he was like, ugh. I spin around, but no one's the ew. I hate it. Ew! I actually, I, this was gonna be real fun and quirky and really silly, but now it's just creepy. I hate it. I spin around, but no one's there. Straining my ears, I try to sense his presence, but all I hear is the wind. Wait, ew! What's happening? Just my imagination, I guess. I turn back toward the Jump graveyard. Scared. Ew! Hi! What the heck are you? And he's standing there in front. He's a zombie. Wait, I mean, wh <laughs> wait, what? Wait, this is so weird. Hello? What genre did we just vampire? get transported to? What is a happening? Vampire? So this is the el el elusive instead of, el okay, elusive D-man. Ashen face, that is how you spell unfocused elusive, eyes. Isn't it? What? That is how you spell elusive, right? If they elude you? I don't think it's with two L's. Oh. I think it's one L. Yeah. Ashen face, unfocused eyes, a blood-stained shirt, and an aura that can't possibly be human. I mean, yeah, we knew he was magical, but I wasn't expecting some kind of zombie. I'm dead. Is he dead? Ew! Don't go closer! Ew! <laughs> go! Ew! Back off! Back off! Ew! 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 I study him as he slowly approaches me. Ew! Uh! Oh, slowly. Hello. Um, Did I scare you? I want to make this face. Can we make this face? <laughs> Yeah, why not? <laughs> Sorry, you've got to be fed up with dealing with spirits. Is one of his eyes just like a lazy eye, or is it just like completely it, facing like... <laughs> it's like completely, yeah, just looking <laughs> far away. <laughs> I know, excuse me. Why is there a zombie in our spirit game? <laughs> and while I'm apologizing, please allow me to say how nice it is to meet you. This is the first time we've met, but he's being so friendly with me. Like I'm a long lost pal. Like we just said earlier. Yeah, it's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Guess he's taken a liking to me after sending me all those texts. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I just don't. <laughs> so I don't get so I mean okay. My real name is Hiro Ara Aratama. Aratama. Isn't this person associated with the characters from the first game? Because he's mentioned them and he says he's worked with them and he's like associates, right? Like, aren't they associated with each other? <laughs> oh. I don't remember, yeah. Sorry to meet you like this, but in my in life, I was the desk editor for Oop Arts Monthly. Wow. <laughs> desk man. So, Dino. Everybody's a comedian. What NG Nagoshinogi, D man, desk man. <laughs> I want to express my thanks to you. But I also have one thing I want to confirm. Am I dead? <laughs> His cheerful voice suddenly turns serious. Oh, yes? Why is the music creepy? <laughs> it's about my writings. You always seem so interested in them. To the point, what do you truly want to do? That's what I want to know. Ooh. Who do you truly wish to become? What? I pray that you don't disappoint me. Good thing we just saved right before this. Uh, what? what do you want? What do you want from He's us? He's asking us what we want from him. What, what does he want from us? <laughs> I feel like it's one of these two. I feel like it's one of these two. Um, explore? Become... Become an urban legend too! Ha! Aww! <laughs> Bad! Oops. Dang it! Uh, explore the Are you gonna kill world. us? Oh. You'd rather become a spirit and join me then? Oh, right. he's gonna wish! I will grant that wish myself. After all this, you're gonna kill us? An invisible force begins squeezing my whole body with intense pressure. Oh my god! Goodbye. After all that, you decide to kill us? That's so mean! I thought we were friends! Me I thought too. we were cool with each other! Yo! That's so uncool! Why would you do that? <laughs> Oh my god! Untapped, untapped world, because he's he's exploring the untapped world. He's exploring, uh, you know, urban legends. Okay, because he's an op arts, you know, editor, so he likes exploring the untapped world. Okay, <laughs> whatever, man. The unknown. I want to explore the untapped world and not be choked to death by you. That was written on the first D card I found. What? It oh, was? was it? I mean, it's been centuries ago for us by this point, so we can't remember that. Like Betty wanted me to become a fellow explorer of the untapped world. That's got to be the answer he's looking for. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Now I won't kill you. You're exactly the man I expected. From now on, the untapped world will welcome you. By me killing you and turning you into a spirit, therefore you can explore it unlimited. <laughs> Thank you. I can't get over the fact that we have a zombie just kind of casually talking to us right I'm, now. <laughs> I'm waiting for the plants to appear. It was a war. <laughs> Crimson, I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Thank you for everything. I have one last report to give you. Okay, what's up? Uh, now then... May you remain in good health until the day you arrive at the abyss of the untapped world. The abyss of the untapped world. And with that, he vanishes. Where he was standing is a familiar looking card. D card! I lower my gaze to the writing on the card. Go for it! Hy Yaki Yagyo. Spirit Memoirs, 10-1. Apologies for alarming you earlier. I was so happy to finally meet you that I asked what I shouldn't have. Who I am is just what I told you before. I'm Hiro Aratama, former desk editor for O Bart's Monthly. Many of my acquaintances, like Mr. K, are familiar with the paranormal. No blame on them, but I often get carried, got carried away. That's how I am like this. I've always felt bad about dying. It's caused trouble for the editorial department and the magazine's wow. readers. That aside, I'm ecstatic to welcome you as a fellow explorer of the untapped world. I'd like to start out by sharing information with you on Hyaki Yagyo, what we're currently after. Do you know what Hyaki, Hyaki Yagyo is? It's the march of evil spirits of rivers and mountains, much hmm. like those found in ancient tales of this country. It's a piece of fiction, but the Hyaki Yagyo we're after isn't. Would you believe me if I said a large group of spirits like those you faced used to march along this land of Musashino a long time ago? Okay. 
It's your right and duty to affirm everything paranormal, including my bizarre stories, as I don't have to convince you now. Back to Hyaki Yagyo. We believe at the center of the covered up historical incidents is a certain presence. It has the power to create dangerous spirits. I'm sure someone has come to mind. It was the, the doll, right? She could make the spirits. Yeah, right? It's or, Kaguya. Well, and Kaguya. And Kaguya. Or, <laughs> or more accurately, the Kaguya doll. A doll with similar powers was connected to the Mark case in H City. These doll spirits are considered the core of what causes the Hyaki Yagyo. We assume a death march occurs when doll spirits gather the dead and turn them into spirits. But we don't know much about these dolls yet. All of the families from the Edo period associated with dolls have disappeared and passed down items. Huh. Yeah, no, that, that sentence is weird <laughs> grammatically. But anyways, just We're lost in fly the on through. Yeah. <laughs> the only possible lead we might get is for you to ask the doll spirit directly. But you must be very careful. You'll soon reach the end of Kakuya's game. If you observe closely, you could learn new information. Okay. That said, don't end up like me. If worst comes to worst, put your own safety first. Now, I still have much to say to you, but look how I am. Sadly, I have some place I need to be. But thank you for keeping me company all this time. I'll tell my acquaintances about you when I get a chance. Goodbye, Crimson. Until we meet again, D-Man. Who are your desk acquaintances? Man. Yay, D-Man, Desk Man. Really quick, isn't this saying if worse comes to worst? Because it's like you're going from worse to yeah. worst. That's what yeah, I thought. I feel like I've, I've seen it misspelled very recently in something else I was consuming. But anyways, wow. Holy crap. And we're going to have to end off the episode there. I guess that was our, yeah, that was our final message from D-Man. We've come a long way to the point where we didn't remember what he said in his first message. And who would at this point? <laughs> well, how did we know what he wanted us messages. to say? <laughs> no, it makes sense. It makes sense. He wanted us to, to, to pursue a similar line as he does, but... Just what if we have different aspirations? What if we just wanted to graduate high school? Huh? What if we yeah. just wanted to go back to a normal life after all this, live a normal life and graduate high school like a normal you kid? You tell me. Huh? I have I know nothing about Crimson. What does Crimson care about? Family? Right? Right? <laughs> Boxing? What, what, money? What, 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 where does he get family? off? Where does he get off choosing for us whether we what what we want to do? Huh? He kills us if we don't want to do the same thing he does? Eh? <laughs> That's an oppressive adult in society for you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, join us next time to wrap up the day, and we will see what we're doing next. See you then. This is Axis. This is Joey. Over, Over and out. out.